Here in this code sample, we use the function for symbol dot for in order to get a value of the type symbol that its description is uh, ISBN. Now, when creating a symbol using the for method, then for method checks whether uh, that required symbol already exists, and if it already exists, then it returns the same symbol value that already exists. Now, in this case, over here, when I invoke the for method for getting a symbol value that its description is ISBN, a description I already used over here, I actually get ISBN2 assigned with the same symbol value, with the same value of the type symbol I have over here. And that's why this if statement returns uh, true. That's why this expression is true, to be more accurate. And this statement is printed to the screen. Now, when I try to execute this code sample, this is the output, just as expected.